Welcome back to the Wheel of Hut. Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf, we're back again, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here with episode three of Wheel of Hut, and uh, we moved the board before we had open 10 packs up here, so I twisted it around. Maybe, just maybe, we'll have some luck to get some 10 packs today. We have some amazing content out, which I can't wait to show you. But before I show you the content, we are going to spin the wheel for the first time to see what we have to do before we hop into our first game of the episode, all right? So we, we, we ended off on one pack last time. Let's hope for some more, all right? Here we go, spinning the wheel. What are we going to get? And it's back on open one pack. Okay, we'll take that. Now, the reason I'm okay with one pack is because there are some crazy packs out in the store, but let me show you the content that is out. There is a new event out called Prototypes. You got these 86 overall cards. You got Marner, you got Brady Kachuk, you got Heesher, Gudas, and I believe that's Devin Taze. Then you also have these prototypes as well. Caroline Harvey, Rick Nash, Jay Bomeister, Chris Draper, uh, okay. And then in fantasy, we got the fantasy cards. So plus one overall for every goal scored forward, plus one overall for every goalie win or shutout, plus two overall for every goal scored as a defenseman and only regular season game counts. We have a bunch of fantasy uh, hockey cards as well, as you can see here as well. And uh, a crazy team of the week, 87 Austin Matthews, 86 Evgeny Malkin, 85 Patterson, 85 Hughes, uh, crazy content. So now in terms of the packs, let me show you what I was saying in terms of the crazy pack. So, I think I already know what I want to open, and it's going to be this Prototypes Greater Chance Choice Pack. You have a total of 15 players over 5 rounds, so it's a choice pack with a greater chance of pulling an 86 overall. So you have an 8.8% .8 chance of pulling an 80 overall. Uh, here you got a 1.7. Uh, here, I mean, X1 times greater, I, I, I don't know. You have one goal player with a greater chance of pulling a hockey fantasy card. Okay, that's pretty cool. So... With that being said, I think our best pack to open is this Prototypes Greater Chance Choice Pack. We get one of these. Let's see what we can get in this pack here. We're hoping for something juicy, man. Our first purple, maybe? Who knows? Peyton Krebs, Brian Dumoulin, nothing to help the team. Jamie Lee Rat Ray actually might help the team. Um, she's actually fast as hell. So that's actually a pretty good pull. And Freddie Anderson. So, you know, we'll take the goaltenders and then we'll take Peyton Krebs because he's going to be a young star in this league for a long time all right uh kevin lankinen connor ingram oh okay not a great round i mean i guess we'll go it doesn't really matter man we'll just go highest overalls kind of thing second round didn't treat us that nice it's okay third round darnell nurse which actually will help out the defense so i'm probably gonna take him uh chandler stevenson okay dimitri orlov and ryan johansson so i think we're gonna go nurse stevenson and ryan johansson I think a couple of those guys will make the team. Fourth round, Renetta Fast. Okay, good defenseman there. Uh, Adam Lowry and Alina Mills and Nick Bonino. Okay, so we'll go with those. I don't know if any of those guys will make the team. Last round, give me an 86 plus here, baby. Cam Talbot, Sunquist. Oh, no. Oh, this pack was brutal. Oh, what a bad... I gotta go back and look at these odds real quick. Hold the hell on. What were our chances of getting an 84 plus? Because we didn't even get one of those, man. That is crazy. That That's not great. That Honestly, not a lot of that's gonna help out the team. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. That's not a good look. What were the odds? 83 plus was an 86%. I mean, jeez. Okay, I mean, let's go throw who we can onto the team now, I guess. So, we're going to end up losing Jake Muzzin with uh, Darnell Nurse coming in. He played one game with us, and he's already out the door. And then Kevin Shattenkirk is going to get the boot for uh, Renita Fast. I'm going to keep her on the third pair. She's 5'6", 143. Like, she's probably going to get bounced off a lot. We'll try her out. It's an 83 overall. I kind of want to keep the big boys at the at the front, so we'll, we'll put her in there for sure. And then Harvey Pinard is going to be coming out for Jamie Lee Ratray. Uh, crazy name. Car looks pretty good. Um, we do lose playmaking forward though, so that's going to be interesting. I got to find a way to get that going. She does look pretty good actually. Okay, let me see what I can do to get playmaking forward activated here. Hold on, boys. Okay, Ryan Johansson is going to be coming in for Daniel Sprong. This actually works out better overall he's gonna get playmaking forward activated the team's looking all around a little bit better here not too bad so i believe we are in div three rivals if i'm not mistaken we are so i think we're gonna go up against some good teams here boys i'm a little nervous also as you can see i forgot to mention the coin total is up why is it up i've been opening up daily reward packs 
the daily packs uh so i've been getting coins out of those that's why we're up to 10.9k all right what are we going up against first game john bellavo at an 87 Braden point and artemi panarin looks like he's got a pretty good squad that bellavo is going to be interesting to go up against oh my god this guy's 74 47 and 8 oh my god he's a hot grinder we're 4 0 and 1 so that's interesting we'll see how this goes here so far nurse is looking good he's controlling a lot of the play in his first shift we like that oh no we're getting burnt here and we're gonna get stuck nurse is gonna cover the pass that gets through I don't know how Nurse doesn't get like a foot on that or anything. He's got X Factor Yossi and point. Jack Hughes makes it one to nothing. We're down one nothing early. Not a great start. Um, I don't know. We got to claw our way through. This guy's played a lot of virtual hockey. Oh my god. Let's go, Gino. No one's knocking you off the puck, bud. Take the shot. Oh my god, what a save! I think that might have trickled off the post too, if I'm not mistaken. Good effort there. Bellavo. Sean Dersey, good defensive play. Let's go Bertuzzi. Here we are. Low shot rebound. Oh, it's a good deflection from his goaltender. That might have actually been a goal. Let's go connect me. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, that's not even connected. That's Zegris. What a save. I have too many of the same numbers on this team, man. I swear to God. We're getting worked around right now. Good poke. Goaltender. And my goaltender, I... I I, I don't I don't know what goes on in this game. I want to watch the replay so we can watch this together. I don't know what happens in this game sometimes. I really don't. Jonathan Huberto makes it two to nothing. What what happened here? Nice Gustafson. Nice. Feels like that's a puck you should be able to cover. I don't know. I'm gonna have a very fun time on this game. Three, two, Jamie Lee. All right, good shot then the period. That wasn't even her. I, I really need to get acquainted with this team. I don't know who's who on the ice sometimes. I mean, looking at the stats, man, like it's an even game. He's just gotten those two goals. First one was a good goal. We'll give it to him. Second goal was not. But I mean, hey, that's the name of the game. I mean, at the end of the day, they don't ask you how. They ask you how many. So this guy has many more. Dude, I feel like my poke checks this year. I poke the guy and the, the pokes aren't strong enough. Like my his guy... Man, this game is just, it's something else this year, man. This game is just something else, man. Can we watch this goal again, too? What is with the puck just trickling in? I'm trying not to rage. I swear, like, it's not worth it. But what the hell am I playing? I think it's time to switch goaltenders. What is Philip Gustafson doing here? Put your pad down, man. Okay, 3 nothing. Lovely game. Good block. Are we going to get this puck over him? We did for the first time. Go skate. Two seconds. Please, for the love of God. And we score with a second left. Cut the lead back into two. Trevor Moore assisted from Nurse in his debut. Okay, good stuff, boys. We're just going to throw in the first lines for now because the period's over. We're in this game. We are in this game. We're down by two with 20 minutes left. It's not bad. The, sh the score clock's showing zero right now. That's crazy. Interesting. All right. End of two. He definitely had a better period that period. His two goals out of the three have been ones that trickled in. So that's fun. Low shot rebound. Bro, this goaltender's not giving up any rebounds. Is that Igor Shosturkin? I think it is. It's a Rangers goalie. It has to be him. He's been robbing us, man. Like He's very good at the redirections, man. I'm trying for these rebound shots, and it's, he's re redirecting them out of the way every time. It's crazy. So it looks like we're going to lose our second game of the episode. This is going to be our first loss in regulation, actually. Which kind of sucks, man. He had two tricklers in. Like This could have been a tied game if it wasn't for those crappy goals that he ended up scoring. It's the name of the game though again they don't ask you how they ask you how many and we're gonna take our first regulation loss of the series guy deserved it i mean i i do think he played a little bit better than me again the goals that he scored weren't the greatest but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter looking at the stats here i mean yeah he had way more shots than me uh what four or five minutes more time on attack than me so i uh, you know what well deserved ggs buddy we take our first regulation loss. Okay, so after that game, we were at 11,266 coins. We have a chance to get bankrupt on this. We don't want that. 11.2K can get us a pretty good player. So we're hoping for a good spin. With that being said, let's spin the wheel here and see what the wheel is going to bless us with. And what is it going to be? It's going for a while here. And it's open five packs. It went from bankrupt to up. We get to open up five packs. We take that, dude. I thought I was like, oh my God, we actually went bankrupt. Five packs it is. Let's go. We have five packs. 
I'm gonna open up a, vi a variety. That first pack did not treat us well. Let's be honest with each other, but we're gonna open it again. Okay, so we're just gonna start off with one of these again. Screw it, okay? First one wasn't good. Maybe the second one's gonna be better, okay? So let's see, first round, Oleksiak, okay. Uh, ooh, 84 overall, Caroline Harvey, okay. And Owen Power, all right, our defense is getting better and we desperately need good defensemen. So we take that, we definitely take that, okay. Oh my God. And we pull our first purple, legit my first purple all year. Not only in the series, all year. 86 overall, Kale McCarr. Our defense is looking spicy now. 93 speed, 93 excel. Decent, like good shot, not decent shot, good shot. Good hand stat, good checking stats. If we had offensive defenseman, he gets an even better shot, even good pass, even better passing. So, hey, first purple, 86 overall, Kale McCarr. We will definitely take that. Uh, Boone Jenner. And Trevor Zegers again. I know we have a dupe of Trevor Zegers, but there's no point in taking a 78. So we're gonna go Kale McCarr, we're gonna go Boon Jenner, we're gonna go Trevor Zegers. What a pack. And we still have three more rounds. I doubt we pull anything else, but Kale McCarr is gonna be huge. And the good thing is, is we still have four packs after this. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I don't know. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna take Vinny Trocheck. We're gonna take Essa Lindell. And we're gonna take James Reimer just cause it's James Reimer. We love James Reimer here, okay? Fourth round out of five, uh, sure. Uh, Ruzika, okay, Alex Lyon, and Jonathan Marshall, who actually might make the team. He has a synergy we're looking for, too. Not bad. We'll take Marshall, we'll take the 280 overalls. Fifth round, Dell, we get another purple. Cole Caulfield, that's actually a sick card, too. Okay, we are getting some good pulls. Aaron Eckblad, our defense is looking good. Anti Ranta and Evan Bouchard. So we're gonna go Bouchard, Eckblad, and Caulfield. What a choice pack. Okay, the first one didn't treat us nice. The second one, though, the second one, though, 84, 86, <sighs> we'll take that. Let's go with a Mega Players pack next. We have 580 overalls, second pack out of five. What will this one give us here? Give us something good, baby. Here we are. Tanner Pearson. Okay, Nick Aparucizi. Okay, where are our 80 plus overalls? We're getting a bunch of 70s that we don't really need. We get a team of the week. Sure, not one of the good team of the weeks, but we get a team of the week. Uh, Michael Backlin, okay, could possibly make the team. Uh, Spencer Knight, okay, okay. Don't know if we're gonna change our goalies. Maybe Gustafson just had a bad game. Speaking of goalies, we're pulling more. Okay, man, I, I think the choice pack is the way. Robert Thomas, not too bad, 82 overall. Uh, yes, Barry Cook and Yemi, all right. Uh, Justin Falk, okay, UPL, Corey Cross. Jordan Cairo, okay, we are pulling some good cards, man. Packs are low-key, a little juiced right now. And that's going to be it for this pack, all right? Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. You know what? We have two more of these. We're going to open up one more. One more. One more. I don't want to go too OP with this because then our team's going to be too stacked. You know what I mean? Okay, so Shoal, we got that guy, Spencer Knight, and Rebecca Johnston. Sure, we'll just take the highest overalls kind of thing at the end of the day. Uh, okay, second round. Okay, 85 overall, Kendall Coin Showfield. Used her last year in the, the Monopoly Hut series, her X Factor. She was actually pretty good. She's going to get used for sure. So that's pretty nice. And that's going to be it for that round. All right. So we'll take Showfield and just those two guys over there as well. We have two more rounds, I believe. This is the fourth round. This is the third round. We got three more rounds. Okay. Shane Gossespierre, Jordan Stoll, Anze Kopitar, and Nick Schmaltz. Okay. So we'll take those. Oh my God. Our team's going to look a little too stacked now. I kind of feel bad that it's going to be this good already, but whatever. Logan Couture. Victor Rass still playing hockey. Sean Dursey and Scott Wedgwood. Again, whatever. We'll take the dupes. Couture, good card. Don't know if he'll make the team. Last round here. What will it give us? Mikey Anderson, Charles Lindgren. Mark Stone could make the team as well. And Tori Krug. Okay, not a bad choice pack. Okay, we will take that. These, these packs are a little too good. I'm not going to open up another one of these um, because our team's going to look mighty fine after these. Okay, two more to go. And I'm leaning, like, I, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. If we can pull a fantasy hockey card in one of these, hey, why not? All right. So let's see. We get one player out of this. Greater chance of pulling one. And we pull a duplicate Kevin Shattenkirk. That was a waste of a pack. And I'm sorry that you guys have to watch that. And just for the lols, because I think we've had too many packs, too many good packs. We're going to open up a premium pack, okay? We're going to skip it too. And it was a waste of a pack. I'm not going to lie. It was a waste. But what I'm going to do here to get some coins up, I'm not going to do any sets. I'm going to just quick sell the players we're not going to use. Not gold players because we could use those for sets. We'll take an easy 1k coins from that set. And we are now up to just over 
12k so not too bad again worried with the bankrupt thing but it's not bad let's throw the cards onto the team now so honestly our defense is going to be like totally different we could probably say goodbye to sean dursey and eric chernak let's be real they're probably departing our team after pulling kale mccarr after getting Aaron neckblad they're definitely done trevor moore will be departing for the newly acquired mark stone ryan johansson played his first game with the team and he is now departing for the newly acquired cole caulfield showfield will be taking over jamie ben's spot so we're getting some more speed on the team which i really did want and rat ray might have to depart just for synergy reasons actually we're too short on playmaking forward now i was gonna throw in jonathan marsh assault but if we're losing playmaking forward, which it looks to be the case, we might just keep it the same. And if that's the case, if we have a better center than Morgan Frost, we're going to throw them in. Anze Kopitar looks to be our best option. So Anze Kopitar is going to get fourth line minutes there. So after all is said and done, this is what the team is looking like. We have Travis Konechny. The first line stays the same. Konechny, Malkin, to Bertuzzi. Second line is looking pretty different aside from Elias Lindholm. Mark Stone will be playing on the wing with him and so will uh, Coin Schofield. Third line will be Nugent Hopkins, Trevor Zegers, and Cole Caulfield. The fourth line will be Joe Pavelski, Anze Kopitar, and Jamie Lee Ratray. And then on D, we got Kale McCarr paired up with Darnell Nurse. We got Aaron Ekblad with Owen Power. And we have Renata Fast playing with Caroline Harvey, and goaltending stays the same. So we did lose playmaking forward, but we also activated two more synergies. We got two way forward activated for Konechny, Schofield, Pavelski, Stone, Bertuzzi, Kopitar, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. We got offensive defenseman activated for Kale McCarr, uh, Fast, and Harvey. And then two way defenseman is activated for Power, Nurse, and Ekblad. So the team is ready to go. We're ready to head into the second game of the episode with the team looking pretty dang spicy all right can we win our next game of the episode we hope so luke robotai joe newendike and brooks or pick okay he's got a good team the good news is, is we do have our first 86 overall on the team being kale mccarr he's making his debut let's see what the team can do this guy 68 50 and 10 in the games he's played he's a hut grinder as well we're playing some good people with some good teams this episode man needed someone in front of there try to get a tip get the rebound what a move what a save we have kept Philip Gustafson in net as well. I think I told you guys that already. Kale McCarr. Oh my god, that didn't miss by much. That would have been nice. What a hip check there. Take the shot, Kale. Oh, okay. Kale. Oh, I wanted the lacrosse. He didn't do it. And a cross to Elias Lindholm in his debut. Kale McCarr with his first point. We're up one to nothing. What a start for Kale McCarr and Elias Lindholm on this team. I want to start from us. One nothing. Let's go, boys. Low shot rebound. Oh, that almost worked. Good cover from his goaltender. Just take the shot there. His goaltender is tired, man. We almost have full pressure as well. Dodges the hit. Dodges again. Take the shot. What a save, man. I don't know how that wasn't a goal. I see ya. Bang. Take it to the night. Oh, my God. What a save. Over cross. Bang. Oh, my God. He picked it up at the side of the net there. Not ideal. Over cross. Kill Makar, man. He's, he's opening up. He already has a point in this game. He was looking for a goal in that shift there. Let's go, Kale. Low shot rebound. It's there, and it's a goal for Trevor Zegers. Makar in his debut with two assists. He's going to quickly climb up the point lead on this team, man. He is playing good in his debut. Darnell Nurse also getting an assist. 2 nothing, boys. We love to see that. We absolutely love to see that. Zegers wants more. Rebound. Oh, my God. It's on the line. Oh my god, how did that not go in for our third goal of the game, man? That's insane. And I mean, looking at the stats here, 13 shots to three. We're LTOAing him. We're feeling good with this team, boys. All oh, those packs were nice. The puck. Owen Power. That's not Owen Power. Bang, Bertuzzi. What a save. Oh my god, Bertuzzi is actually snake bitten on this team right now. It kind of sucks. What a save on Gino Malkin there. Oh my god. Now to kind of stop playing for a sec. Konechny and Konechny. What are they calling it off for? No, 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 no. What are we calling this off for? If anything, I'm pushing the goalie towards the net and helping him save the puck here. That's not going to count. Oh, that's tough scenes, boys. We got stripped of a goal. Could have been 3-0 there. Wow. Okay. They gave me the wrong player. What a save from Philip Gustafson. He's having a bounce back game after the last one, boys. He needed that. Here we are. Good pass. Oh, my God. What a pass. Bang on the backhand. Oh, my God. What a save. Okay. That's okay. Here we are. Konechny, nice move to the inside. Travis Konechny. Oh, Bertuzzi, what was that dive? Not needed. And we're looking at the end of two here, and uh, I mean, we're playing well. That's all I'm going to say. We are playing very well. Awesome. Oh, nice. Dodges a hit. 
Low shot rebound. Bertuzzi. No, Konechny's going to get his own rebound. Oh my god, this X Factor Konechny is something else. Makar with his third point of the night. Three assists. And Philip Gustafson got an assist on that play too. Oh my god, the boys are just gelling together, man. We love to see that. This Kale Makar card is actually insane, boys. I'm such a huge fan of this. He's. He's actually so much better than everyone else. And you can feel the difference. It's amazing, boys. We're going to do it with Caulfield. Bang. Oh, my God. What a save. We actually like we could have we actually could have hit that. That was an amazing save from the goaltender. Oh, take a hit. Make a play, though. Aaron Ekblad over to Owen Power. Oh, he misses the net. Oh, it was right there. Oh, good poke. Good poke. Go on. Take off. Bang. 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 Oh, my God. That would have been gross. Oh, that's a weak goal from Philip Gustafson. Other than that, he's had a good game, but that is a weak shot to let in. 3-1, to one, it's okay. There's only a couple seconds left. Kind of sucks that he couldn't get the shot out. And that will be game. We go 1-1 one one this episode. We took our first regulation loss, but we come back big with a huge win. We absolutely love to see that. We're getting close to bronze ranking. Do we get bronze ranking? We do. That's a dub. And we're close, not close, we're getting to silver, all right? Looking at rival summary, we are getting some more points, getting closer to Div 2. Don't know how I feel about that. Coin summary, you know, we're going to gain some coins for doing what we do. And then looking at the stats here, man, uh, it was a well-deserved win. After that game, we also completed an objective. So hopefully that's some coins. And it is 500 coins to add on to the 13K we already have. So we're ending off the episode with 13,665 coins. Hoping that the next spins in the next episode isn't bankrupt and hopefully buy any player because we like i said with with this chunk of change we can buy a pretty decent player for the team that we have anyways guys that's going to be it for today's wheel of hud episode if you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like on it if you guys are new around here make sure to subscribe button down below for some more wheel of hut some more nhl 24 content all of the above so be sure to subscribe if you haven't but yeah like i said that is it for today thank you guys very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later Peace.